Now we're going to go over one method on how to calibrate your Neo sensor for relative humidity. Basically, we just use a salt, which is going to produce a known relative humidity within certain temperature ranges once we add a little bit of distilled water to it. We do want to use distilled water. Tap water has a lot of other contaminants in it that can affect your readings. So we're going to measure out about 21 grams of table salt. That's approximately one tablespoon, just to make it a little easier for you. Next, we'll go ahead and add just over a teaspoon of distilled water here. You really don't want to use too much distilled water. You're looking for a slurry mix, so you do not want the sodium to all dissolve within the water here. We'll go ahead and place that in the bag. Now, it is really important also to make sure that you have some kind of tenting mechanism so that the air can actually circulate so your Neo can get an accurate reading. So in this case, chip clip, perfect. We'll go ahead and place our Neo in there. Go ahead and set it in there. Now, some people like to give it 24 hours. That's not really necessary in this case. We're going to go ahead and give it maybe around about four hours should be sufficient for that. So we'll just let it set in there. Don't worry about squeezing the extra air out. Now, after four hours or so, you want to go ahead, open your iMatrix app. If your sensor isn't showing up, there's a button on the back. Go ahead and press that. You'll see a blue light flash. Then refresh your app. You'll see your sensor there and go ahead and click on that sensor. Now, the readings might not be exactly what you expect. In this case, for table salt, we expect around 75% humidity. If it's not reading that, that's fine. Go ahead and click on configure and then click on calibrate. You can just choose one point calibration since we're just using this one stall as a standard. Now, the first box is where we're going to place whatever our Neo is telling us it's reading right now. In the second box, we're going to put the humidity that we know that our salt is going to produce, that's 75%. So go ahead and enter those values, save it, and then refresh your app. You may also need to press the button on the back of your Neo again to get it to show up and show with refresh readings. Just give it a few minutes and you should be seeing a reading that's very close to 75% relative humidity.